Recording live. Let's go. Anyway, what are we doing here? Well, John, about ten weeks ago. Has it been that long? Yes. I asked you. I've been counting the seconds. I asked you. It's staring at it. Dice or wheel? Uh huh. He chose will. He chose will. Mm hmm. So behind where you are currently standing. That's your cue to move. That's your cue to move to the side. Oh my god, look! It's a bunch of shit that I bought because I'm weird. It's a bunch of shit that I bought because I'm weird. I'm pretty sure we're at the 15 second point we can use that take. Pretty sure. There's also a green screen. Green screen! What are you going to put on the green screen when you hover over it? Porn. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the horrible, horrible uh, DVDs and VSS tapes that I've chosen. Don't you be looking through those yet. We're not there. I don't like the bottom one. I know you don't, but it's funny. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Start with tape number one. We have... Oh, am I supposed to be reading them or you? Whoa. Read it. It is the Duel Master's Guide. Wait, it's the guide? Wait, what the fuck? It's the guide! <laughs> what? We need to learn how to do this. We're going to a regional in two days, John. Why is there like a bullet in the back of it? Look at that. What do you mean a bullet? There's a bullet back there. There's a bullet wound. Because it's like 20 years old. Yeah, well, somebody shot at Konami. That's what I'm understanding here. The official yeah. rules DVD. Alright, next one. I don't... I'm confused by what this is. You just read the title. Cult Explosion. There you go. Cults exposed by those who escaped. Yep. Move on to tape number three. We're just doing the names. We're not even reading the backs unless oh. you really want to. Well, this one's upside down. We have Dead End Road. I'm just trying to figure out what it's supposed to be. Oh, I already don't like how this one was filmed. <laughs> uh, That's why it exists. Ew, it's like ugly. <clears throat> Delivering Justice Identity Crisis. A High Noon Bullet. Inspection. Or Inspector. I don't fucking know. There's so many words on that. Where the waters run. Oh, I thought it was the toilet. Great. Living Nightmare. It's every day of my life. Yeah, see? Living Nightmare. That is uh, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life, and it's horrible. You sure it's not Trap on Cougar Mountain? You know the reason why that one exists is because of the title. I'm scared by the title. I'm scared by the back, too. Look at that. Look at that dumbass shit. Oh, look at the dumbass. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry. We need to look at the back. The heartwarming story of a young boy, a cougar, and their fight for survival. Yeah, that, yeah they're really rough. Well, I that. hope the old lady lets them live at the end. Yeah, I really don't think they're talking about the cougar on the fucking box. What the hell? hell? What have you got there, Dino. Son? The fuck is Dino Dan? Dino Tractors join Dino Dan on his prehistoric adventures. Apparently, Dino Dan has the Dino Tractors joining him on his adventures with horrible CGI. But who is Dino Dan of these three? Um, obviously a kid. He was probably molested oh. by the filmers. Sorry, my hand was allegedly. On my our lawyers have told us allegedly. That, you know that that is a joke. It's not a hundred percent true. He picked two. I didn't realize they were stuck together. I like how this one is still sealed. Yeah, it, nobody it, wants no to watch that it. shit. It still... It even says Y on it. <laughs> why? Why? And that's W-H-V, but okay. <clears throat> What's that, John? The Heart of Healing. Remarkable stories of how we heal ourselves, what you believe. Alright. I believe I'm not going to like it. On our next tape? The Gang. How a government agency uses the law to destroy your rights and freedoms. Is this some, like... Remember if it's left or right winged bullshit. One of those directions. It's north and south. All I know is that the person who did that is Jewish. And they're dead. I looked it up. So they're Jewish and dead. But it's <laughs> probably going to, to be right wing bullshit. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. It's plastered all over the website. Look. Look. The fact that they're Jewish go, and dead? Yeah. If you go there, it's jpfo.org. I started looking these up. Is uh, Aaron what is it? Uh, Zellman. This is like 2007. He died in I think like 2008 or something like that. So 
he made this whole thing about, you know, gun rights and all that fun stuff. Uh-huh. And he wanted them to keep around. And he's just like, hi, I'm Jewish, and I'm hanging out with all these Christian people to protect gun rights and the Constitution from our government. Yep. I'm just like, <clears throat> this is going to take a turn. This is going to be a 180, isn't it? I imagine. Hi, was... constitutional. Kind of constitution, constitution. By the way, did you know that the government is evil? Is, is this guy the government? Look at him. Flying saucers are real. Yeah, we got Volume 2. John, volume 2? What the fuck happened to Volume 1? I don't have Volume 1. John, would you please flip over the back so I can look at it? There you go. Oh! There he is. I don't like it. I've never seen this, but yeah, flying saucers are real. Volume two, and finally, if this did we have, on the wheel, I will, I will unalive myself right here. We have tents and grannies exercise program. Viewers might recognize dance and grannies that appeared on another, uh, you know, show very much like this one involving a wheel. Who is recognizing this? I recognized it. Good for you! <laughs> is that where you got the idea from? Yes, this is why we make money. Congratulations. This gonna, is my uh, scam. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I got this. this he found a black cat. He's trying to murder me with a black cat. This is gonna be my emotional support animal for today. She just looks concerned. Are you because you're just holding her, and when you pick up a cat, they think they're being grabbed by a predator. Yeah. John, are you a predator? Only if Danger thinks I'm a predator. She thinks you're a predator. <laughs> that was... Shut up, Danger. Let me down. <laughs> that was a definite yes. <laughs> All right. And we also have the wheel. I swear to all things holy, if I roll Dancing Grannies, it is getting respun. I... Don't care. <laughs> I will no. I will. There's veto also that. there's also a special. That's okay. We can keep Grand Dancing Grannies for another one. Oh God. There's also a special option that will come up if you land on it. If I land on it. I'm not gonna do it. Just go and spin the wheel, John. Spin the wheel. Oh, I see the other option, and I'm concerned by it immediately. You're just gonna spin it once. You're not gonna do it multiple times. It's up to you to spin. I don't click it a bunch. All right, now let go. Bitch. Move the mouse off so you can't do it again. Identity crisis. Okay, at least it's not dancing grannies. How close was I to it? Wait. Dancing grannies is on the other fucking side. It's oh, good. Literally, I think. Yeah, it's wait. that blue one right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's this one here. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, there good. It can be. It can you stay got this. Right it's right there. Yeah. Damn, I was hoping for the Duel Masters guy. Anyway. All right, let's watch the Denny Crisis. Great. You nerd. Oh, we got sound. Oh, my God. Real team mark. Bagels. Hello. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, we didn't sync up the video. <laughs> what video? Who's going to... This one. You know, usually we do the start like, oh, we're at the title screen. Fine, we'll start over. No, no, start it over, but... No, so these are different. That's why I didn't do it that way. Oh, you can put these on like? I don't think anybody's gonna one I don't think anybody's gonna really care. <laughs> and two, um can we get a copy of the credit report? Yeah, like, things are happening. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. But uh nobody's gonna watch this with us. I mean you're right. Nobody can find this, John. <laughs> you know this exists somewhere. I'll probably just like put cuts and shit all right up. Whoop! Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know that we're fucked. They apparently can't believe it. Did it. I know that I mess up when I put in like close up, so this <clears> is a little <throat> much. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, two feet away from you, you know, like a twenty foot room, like a little office. Yeah, I know. I saw when you put the proof. <laughs> I thought he was fucking something, and it's just a video <laughs> game. He's in there just like, yeah, yeah. Amazing. I like how he's like, 
I like how this is what they think a fraudster's base is. A fucking pinball machine and a dude with a comb over. I'm a hacker. I touched the mainframe and now I'm inside of it. Wait, you didn't even use your stolen money to get your pinball machine? You're just balling? Boom! They're in an arcade. Somebody at the post office was like, dude, dude, I got a pinball machine in my <laughs> den. Bro. We can use that. You put that pinball machine. It's great classic pinball. I like how most of the light. The shadow. Yeah. <laughs> I got the I got the shadow. No, the man at the post office, he is a man of, you know, refinement because it's the shadow. Oh, I thought you were talking about the shadow behind the pinball machine, and then I realized what it was. And I was like, oh, well, shit. Well, he got there eventually, guys. What can I do? Continue to be fucking useless. They are really, really going into that shadow machine. Right. This editing is like from the movie Hackers. What the fuck is happening? Now we're in a bar and people are just grinding up on each other. Yeah, they're spending money. They're being ballers, Sean. But don't worry. The post office will save the day. Here comes the postman. <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck is this? Oh, dude, payroll. Shit. Uh, the, the, the snap zooms. Why the snap zooms? It's like the fucking office. I appreciate that in this bar, there's so many bar taps. So many, like... Look at like how people are just, like, dancing in, like, the infinite void. Yeah. Ain't no way no fucking douchey nightclub bartender looks like that. Ain't no way. Tucked in white button shirt with the black bow tie. Nah, we're not in a fancy nightclub. Shit. We're also in the like, 30s, and this should be more of like, you know, a skeezy teenager. Yeah. Oh my god. I want so badly for like when the police come in. The tab would be like that SWAT meme. Oh my god, it's the postal inspector! Ah! I like how she looked at him like, oh fuck. <laughs> a postal inspector. The hell did they take like a still frame of that? They're trying to make the postal inspectors cool. So okay, I'm gonna when I when I like source these. I like how this kind of reminds me like of a scene from Law and Order, just shitty. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Like, all these people, they look like you know. He he kind of looks like the guy from the uh, Mayhem Like Me commercials, but ah, he's not. Yeah. The other guy is like, yeah, you kind of look like that guy from you know Star Trek Voyager, but you're not. Yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> yeah, that guy right there. Oh shit, she's in on it. Oh no, not a mail fraud scam. God, if it was any other type of fraud, the post but, um, office would not have anything to do with this. But I looked up, like, the website and everything from the post office. The one that to order more DVDs is dead. Like, oh, the, right. the link's dead. You can't, you can't order more. Right. Um, but you can get to the post office, like, website of the post officers, the post officer, like, inspectors that they have. Yeah. And on the website, they have a list of <clears throat> post office inspectors who have died in the line of duty. I'm not laughing at that, but I'm just like, the line of duty? Yeah. What are they, cops? Exactly. What are they, cops? Yeah. John, I went through this. I think, like, three of them, uh, three of them died because some somebody they were, in, they were doing, that somebody like actually killed them. Yeah. Um, you know, one, I think one was like unrelated, and then two was like, they went there and they messed up. Or they scared somebody, and they, the guy shot him, and they died in the line of duty. Jeez. Everybody else is like, he died when he was driving to a location on an icy road and went in and landed in the fucking river and drowned. Good lord. That's what the line of duty is for most. There's like, you know, tw like 20 or 15 of these people from like the past 200 years. Like, seriously, it goes back to like the early like 1900s. Oh, you have died. I get it, you know, as a job, it can be kind of dangerous, but it's like, in the past hundred years, like, three people have been shot. Everybody else is because 
you had a car wreck and you died in your car wreck, as you were driving from one location to another, or I had evidence in my car and I had a car wreck, was it anything related? Nope, it was just a car wreck and they're, they're dead and it sucks, but, you know, I get it, you want to honor the people, but it's a little lame, you're like, oh, you know, excuse me, man, I'm a post office inspector. As soon as you say I'm the post office inspector, you're, the next phrase out of your mouth is, what's a post office inspector? <laughs> what are you inspecting? What are you inspecting? Shouldn't you, should you be at the post office inspecting the mail for, like, anthrax? I only, the only postal inspector I ever want to meet is one that sounds like, uh, Chief Wiggum. I want, um, Adolf Hitler FBI. <laughs> you ever seen that? No. You ever seen Adolf Hitler FBI? Why would I have seen Adolf Hitler it's FBI? It's a funny short that I'm pretty sure was in the list of important videos. Is it really? Yeah, it's there. It's like, oh no, who's that? It's like, Adolf Hitler. FBI or Hang something on, like that. And he just now. like throws out and he like and the joke is like it's Adolf Hitler but he's like solving crimes and that's like the funny joke gag of whatever skit comedy show that is. Alright, here we go. I got very is it very uh yeah it's very important videos, here we go. Just do look up Adolf Hitler FBI. Oh, my search history with that. You gotta watch out, she's wearing a wire. Agent Hitler, FBI, oh god. Yeah, see, there you go. It's <laughs> real, oh no. She's wearing a wire. She's wearing a wire. Daryl's an asshole. <laughs> Are we cool? Are we cool? Are we cool, bro? Dude, yeah, babe. He's, got the, he's got the A shirt, or the A neck, or whatever. He has a wife beater on. Yeah, that's what they're originally called. Oh they're... no! Oh shit! <laughs> He's Yo, got a gun! He's got a fucking shotgun! Dude, they all got the guns. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's no, the it's police a, for the actually, U.S. Postal Service. It's actually the It's just the police. I like how she's like, don't. Does it actually say police for the U.S. Postal Service in the back? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay that much attention. Oh, no, it's sunglasses. Man. They had some art film student had like the best time doing this. They did not so far tell us dick all about how to keep our information safe. Yeah, it's just like, you know, a dramatic retelling of Oh no, I messed up. It's just like I'm, I'm you're, you're gonna go down, bad guys. Isn't this supposed to like help me like not be part of like a post office sting? Yeah. It's like, police! Where did they go? They're in a parking garage. Again, for like a hundred years, about 19 to 20 post office inspectors have died in the line of duty. And 18 of those is because of vehicles. Oh my god, look at this face. I can't believe that they did this to those people. <laughs> I swear to God, he's reading a prompter. Yeah. Make sure to use the post office. It's the only way to sell you, Gil. <clears throat> what? Why did he change his locations? Oh, they gave a location. Why is there a Dutch angle? <laughs> Why is he so fucking close to the camera? He was closer before. Well, okay. No, that shit's expensive. It's free. And you can... Each one of the major credit card places, bureaus, uh, or credit history bureaus, will actually give you one for free per year. So you can actually check it not once per year, but actually three times a year. Oh, Do it every not. like you know, like like four months. Yeah. Well, I forgot. And everything, and you can keep track of it. I like how I didn't do that when I bought my car, and I didn't do that when I bought my wife's car. Mm -hmm. Still doing pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> Why would I contact 
a U.S. postal inspector if I had been the subject of fraud. I'm calling my bank first, then I'm calling the fucking police. Right. Wait, that was it? That was it, John. Christopher Gwisty. Daniel Milhano. Milhalko? Michelle Culp? This is like... Wait, I need to know who the videographer was. That is true. That is true. The snap zooms. A high, a high noon, noon bullet. bullet. <laughs> high noon film. All right, what else is high noon film known for? Probably literally this. I can't believe they got actors to portray a person when they could have just used their name. John, I want you to realize something. Hold on, let me, uh, let me turn this down. The, uh, one, okay, so first of all, this is like the Matrix is what they were going for. Um, but I want you to realize that this was made very likely with taxpayer money. Most likely. So that they could sell this DVD. It just, it just look, it just says a high noon bullet. Oh, I need a bullet. That's this the free fraud doing. prevention film is part of the Consumer Protection Initiative of the United States Postal or Office Service. It is provided to you for use in your prevention services. But this is like a free DVD that they gave out that they spent taxpayer money on that literally helped <clears throat> no one. Why is there a two-minute preview for this? Look at that. Incredible. You got chapter selections. Why chapter selections? There's like two... The event, or maybe three, the exciting incident, the the other events, and then the takedown. All right. Uh, but yeah. I was like, I know I didn't block in your neighbor again. No, it's somebody probably getting somebody's attention. Yeah, so yeah, John. How uh, how did you enjoy the uh, the takedown and the the waste of? Probably millions of dollars of taxpayer money to make this. How does it make you feel? I can answer that with a summary of what I found by Googling High Noon Bullet. Yeah? So the only thing I found is a Reddit post from three years ago for the Bullet Dance versus High Noon in Melee 3.0 on r slash Warframe. So I don't have anything about the company. All I have is the High Noon skill in Warframe. Oh, and D and D, which is great. So that's how I feel about this. They don't even research. exist anymore. But okay, I did. I did solve my one question though. This was produced in two thousand three. Yeah. So that's why it feels like the Matrix because it's based on the Matrix. Okay. That was the Matrix, and somebody at the post office who really likes the shadow. Uh, is why this exists. Uh, it was short, which is probably why I don't completely hate it. Uh, it's a little ridiculous that the uh, the post office inspectors <clears throat> want to uh, pretend like they're the police. No offense if you are the post office inspectors, but I'm pretty sure most of those people there had on police, and I'm pretty sure those post office inspectors mostly inspecting the mail. They're the ones that open your mail up to make sure that you're not misusing things for the most part. And I guess they are also helping with <clears throat> mail fraud, I guess. Uh, speaking of checking mail, did you hear about the sad story that happened to the uh, the guy who went through customs? And they fucking, he had like a sealed, completely mint condition version of Pokemon Yellow. And they fucking destroyed it. And they gave it back to him. And he's like, do you guys understand that you just destroyed $10,000? That dude went on that plane pissed. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have it on your carry-on? He, I don't know. I like, this is like $10,000. You put it on your carry-on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the first movie of this evening. Now, let's go on to movie number two. And number spin the wheel again. Oh, my God. Number two in the wheel. 